the following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the nation of domination. From Warner Robins, Georgia, weighing in at 270 pounds, Farouk! Wow, the roof nearly blew up the arena for this superstar. You know, week in and week out, this guy gets one of the biggest reactions of the night. This guy will settle for nothing short of a victory here tonight. We're just moments away from one-on-one -on -one action here. Mankind is one of the most sadistic men the WWE has ever seen. I don't know if he can't feel pain or if he just likes it. That packed a punch. Mankind going for it. Collar and elbow tie up here. Oh, this is critical for a competitor in establishing themselves in the match. John, I don't think I've ever met anybody quite like Farouk. Here's a guy who could get an entire arena to erupt by saying just one word. Damn. And he got paid for it. <laughs> Farouk is a special man. And while damn has made him incredibly popular, let's not forget how much of a legend this man is in the ring. There's really nobody like him. Give us your thoughts about Farouk. Farouk likes three things. Beer, cigars, and beating his opponent senseless. Boy, did he get dropped or what? Ow! Ooh. Doing a great job of avoiding any serious offense. That'll go a long way as this one progresses. What force. I thought the canvas would break. That slam was powered by superhuman strength. Unbelievable. If we can quickly get back to touching on Farouk's legendary career, I think it's worth noting that he's a multiple-time world tag team champion with none other than the man to my right, JBL. Inside the ring now. Finally. Let's get this done inside the ring. Uh, Farouk is building some well-deserved momentum right now. Not today. Too fast. Mankind making his statement as we speak. Uh, going to the top. High risk. You know, I can't believe we got this far and have yet to bring up Farouk's greatest accomplishment. Prior to coming to WWE, he defeated Vader in WCW to become the first recognized African-American World Heavyweight Champion. How about that? Yep, there's the reversal by Farouk. Man, Farouk, what offense. 
Ah, oh, Farouk smells blood. Mankind with a nice reversal. If his back wasn't hurt before, it certainly is now. And it's going to be hurting for a while. Just making his presence felt there. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Oh, that looked like the house has been empty for months. Quick thinking to avoid that. You know, guys, I don't know if there's anyone more twisted, more bloodthirsty, and more maniacal than mankind. Let's face it, he measures professional success by how long his opponents are out of action for after a match. He's a great A nut job. He's going to take another chance. And I can't believe it. Not again. Getting his attention. No, cut off at the last second. Look out. There's a target on that back. These guys are giving it their all here tonight, not just to entertain the fans, but to ultimately walk away with the win. Moments ago, King, you mentioned Mankind's penchant for maiming his opponents. When he jams his fingers down a human being's esophagus with a mandible claw, you can bet serious injury is just around the corner. Well, I don't care how big, tough, strong, or brave you are. It's difficult to stop a certified lunatic. And that's exactly what an opponent has to deal with when going up against this freak. was a hard, hard shot. We know what's coming here. Mankind, what a maneuver. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. Oh, nice counter. Yep, there's the reversal by Farouk. Mankind with a nice reversal. Punishment. I mean, the back of the cranium is just being pummeled. This guy is going to have a permanent headache. King, we've used the word deranged to describe mankind in the past, but to be honest, I don't think that he even begins to explain just how disturbed this guy really is. Yeah, you're right. It's more like he's deranged, disturbed, certifiable, and flat-out weird all rolled into one. And Farouk reverses it. Don't get up. Even if you can get back to your feet after a move like that. Going for the cover. Getting back to what makes up mankind, whether it's him being deranged, certifiable, or whatever it is, the bottom line is that it seems to be working for him. Just imagine what it's going to take to get circulation back in the arm. That may not happen for a couple of days. Look at this. There is absolutely no wasted motion in this attack. Just look at this. I've never seen anything like this before. I just can't get over the physicality of this match. This has been brutal. Brutal and very, very painful for these guys. Watch out! Where he whiffed that one. What a move. And there's the reversal. That strike hit the spot. There's no way he could have avoided that blow. He thinks he has it. People have been wanting to see these guys go at it for a long time, and by the sound of this crowd, I think they're getting what they wanted. A 
and the WWE Universe appreciates it. People love to see Mankind perform like this. Wow, please tell me not the only one who felt that impact. This is pure physical domination. It is just stump puller pile driver. Oh man, I haven't pulled a stump in forever. Are we gonna see it? The double arm DDT, call it tonight. Yeah, call this guy a cab. What a finishing maneuver. This could be it. It's gotta be it. Like I said, those moves don't win the match in one go, but they add up. And boy, have they added up if the shoulders are down. Boy, he is really tired now. Will he be victorious? I think this is it. One, two, three. He did it. What a huge win. Here's your winner, representing the nation of domination, Baru. Put it in the books. And there was no question about that one. Wow, he absolutely manhandled him there toward the end. The arena is still buzzing over that great match.